scouts once again i know this is late but of course i'm giving you another review on yashihime but this time it's gonna be episode nine um episode 10 will be hopefully this friday but this is gonna be quick fast and in a hurry so let's get it started so we start this episode off with a new character that's also worked for King Mamaru, and his name is Kontan, one of the four perils, and he takes over this compound. And of course, Jubei gives the girls a heads up about it, and Moraha was like, let's go. But Tetsuna and Toa is like, nah, we're not really into that stuff, so you can just go by yourself. We weren't really here to do that in the first place. So yeah. And after that, Moraha runs off. But Jubei tells the twins, like, hey, if you put out a bounty for the dream butterfly that you're looking for, people will bound to show you that it is. But on the other side, we learned that Moraha is very upset because her cousin didn't want to take on the bounty to go after Colton. Which I fell for Moraha because that was just me. Those two twins are just me. And to be honest, without Moraha, they wouldn't have shit. <laughs> I mean, Moraha has been the most knowledgeable one about demons and stuff. And Setsuna is a demon slayer, but, you know, I, she's not really opening up, so I'm like, well, that was bogus. <laughs> but, of course, the three girls catch up, and they challenge Koton, and Koton seems to be kind of a match for him, which I'm kind of glad because most of these demons that we have seen, they have not been up to par to where they really had to struggle <laughs> with some of them so they rumble and whatnot but somebody swoops in and saves them which we see Mifuku who is a Meiju who's a demon turtle who has the strongest uh, shell in all the land and so he tells them his little tale of woe that Koton had killed his father. And he was hoping that somebody could take him out. And Morha was like, yo, like we can do that if you give us your, your shell. And the little Mufuku was like, nah. So when Koton had came, you know, it would appear that he was going to go to Moraha because Moraha was pushing him to, you know, hey, why don't you go and get revenge for your dad? But sadly, he didn't pick Moraha to be the shield. He picked Toa, which I was kind of disappointed because I wanted this episode to be a Moraha moment because, I mean, I know it's about the two twins, but it's like, Dang, don't add any Yasha's daughter and she ain't finna have a moment. But while um Toa um is fighting Kotan, um Meifuku gets a message from his dad and was like, son, you gotta use your powers so that you can you can avenge me. And he's like, man, I'm not sure about this dad. He was like, just do it. And so and so of course. He sets off his power and voila. It didn't really kill him, but it did save his dad shell. So we're gonna see more of Kotan, but like I said, I really wish this episode was more for Moraha than Toa because I really believe that could have been a Moraha moment because we get a glimpse of how she was all by herself during the time that she didn't know her cousin and she was like quarter demons do have it rough probably rougher than like half demons so eh, it was a pretty good show i mean i like the fact that one of the demons was more powerful and so we're gonna get to see more of him so eh, 
it should be a moral high moment. And the twins were mean. They were mean to moral high. I don't even like it. just like they did. <laughs> but all in all, it was still a good episode.